pretty gloomy day here in Southern California, which means it is perfect weather for a trip to the bookstore. And that's where I am today. I'm at one of the last, if not the last major retailer of books, Barnes and Noble. It's my happy place. I love being here. It just gives me a sense of nostalgia and makes me feel like I'm in Disneyland. I know that's a bit intense, but I'm gonna say it's not intense enough. And I know that's different content than what I usually post, but you guys, that's what I'm going to be doing now. It's okay. It's okay. Deep breaths. We'll get through this together. And it's okay to like change things up and do go against the status quo, even your own. I don't know if anyone's ever told you that, but I have now. So that's what's happening. So anyways, um, let's just take a trip inside. We are not doing any buying. No, we're not. Why? Because I have a Kindle full of books and I have a bookshelf full of things that I still need to read. So there will be no buying. It's Ramadan. I just need to get out of the house and do some book window shopping. Book window shopping. That's what we're doing. Okay. All right. So put your wallet back. We are not spending a cent. So let's go. Come along with me to the butterflies and bees you want a price if you can tell me what show that song is from and the price is you get to be my best friend um yeah take it or leave it probably gonna leave it please don't <laughs> anyways enough acting crazy here let's go act crazy inside bnn all right so this is the barnes and noble i'm at in glendora california and as you guys can tell it's pretty gloomy and cloudy it's just perfect bookstore weather so let's go inside and they have a little um starbucks in there it's a cafe it's not actually starbucks i think they like serve starbucks cafe or coffee cafe so let's check it out all right party time so this is the entrance yay they have sanitizer you can stay healthy they have a place to go in and then another place to come out instantly i like coming to the front just to see what they have what's new usually they put like the new books here look at this Ooh, sounds captivating and it's half off how cool is that so we turn around and we read whatever's going on so they have that if you want it here we have some new fiction this book the women of chateau lafayette that book I've been eyeing a while. It looks interesting. I would like to read it, but you know, don't judge a book by its cover. I tend to do, I tend to do that a lot. But what I like about Barnes and Noble is that right here, they have descriptions of some particular books. I'm not sure why they don't do it for every book. I think they just do it for books that they want like gone and like that they're promoting as hot, hot, hot. Or maybe it would just get too crowded and not as appealing. I don't know. I don't know why they do that. But look at all these new goodies. So I didn't even know Barnes & Noble did this. Like a book club. I guess it's a virtual book club. And this is their pick of the month. Or whenever they meet. Whenever they do it. Pick of the week. Whatever. Okay. We need to stop doing reviews like this reviews hold no weight for me i barely pay attention to them unless like a book has seven one star reviews by and there's only like eight reviews in total then you know then it's gut slamming but this no thank you no i don't want reviews i want a description on the back of what the book is about and this is just right laying here randomly ancient greece it's 12 bucks looks good looks interesting if you're into that i am into that so but i did not pick this up no sorry as much as i would like it i'm not gonna read it anytime soon flippa gregory i love flippa gregory i love her books i wonder if this is a pirate type book i don't know but i need to read this i love the other bowline girl i love like everything she's written but i haven't read anything by her in so long so we have Witch's Heart, The Witch's Heart, okay. These are all so, like, what is this? It looks very games, Game of Throny. Hmm. I wonder what that's about. 
really want to read this book. I guess there's two in this series. I'm not sure, but I've heard such amazing things and I do want to read this. It's on my list. My question is, why is this in science fiction? Like, this is honestly a thing. The, the monorail exists, you guys. It, it really exists. I don't know why it's in science fiction. Maybe because it's future-y. I really can't say, but this is a gorgeous book. And I would love it. Ooh, look at this. How pretty it is. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Oh, right in the fields. I'd love to go to Disneyland. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it back before I start crying in the bookstore. I love me some horror. So they have a whole bunch of Stephen King. They have it. I've read it. I've read Joyland. I'm trying to read Salem's Lot. They have all of these options. Ooh, this looks good. The Return. I again just basing it off the cover all right so that's what it's about let's put it back but I really need to start reading more horror because I really love it I've heard of this I think it's good I think someone said it's good but again you got to take reviews with a grain of salt because what one person likes another person may hate so you gotta go in I wonder if this is about like zombies. Probably, huh? This is the new Stephen King book. Is it a new? Is it a new new? Or is it an old? I don't know. But they have westerns. I, ha I actually have a western that I got from the dollar store that I'm going to read. It'll be the first western I've ever read. So I don't. Um, yes. Hi. I'm loving this section that they have all these awesome options. And there it is. The book that I want to read. All right. Biographies. The only one out of all these I've read is Becoming by Michelle Obama. And the way it's written. Oh, my God. It's written so well. I don't know if she had a ghostwriter or not. But Michelle, girl, amazing. Uh, of course, I want to read the Stan Lee one. And look at all of these biographies, which are kind of interesting, if you really think about it. They have one on Alfred Hitchcock. I did not know that. Maybe that's another one to put onto my list. They have this one with Harry and Meghan. So this section I have never seen before. I guess they just made it. Music and DVDs. This reminds me of old school Borders. You guys remember Borders and they had the CDs and all that stuff. And I would think I was so cool just listening to music in there. That's why I was a Borders girl for a while. But look at all these options they have if you're still a DVD person. I know a lot of people are like as opposed to or with streaming services. And look, they got Pop Funko figures. Yes, I love these. Okay, do you guys keep yours in the box or take them out? Because I take them out. So let's see. Look how cute this little Tyrion Lannister is. Aw, adorable. And then let's see what else they got. Oh, they have young Anna from Frozen. That's so cute. And then they have all of these. And then they have Cersei Lannister. And Daenerys and Jorah. They have a lot of Game of Thrones ones. The Night King. Let's look over here. Ooh, my little pony. So cute. Snuggle. No, Snuzzle. <laughs> they have Snuzzle. They have all of them. These are adorable. So, yeah. Oh, and Sink. They have a whole good collection. Wow. Let's see what's on this side. Is it the same? Pretty much the same ones they have. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything different or new. It's not like every other section has a different fandom or anything. 
it's pretty much just the same stuff. So yeah, they have these available at this particular Barnes & Noble. I'm not sure if other Barnes & Nobles have different ones or just the same ones, but... So this wall also has more pop figures and... Honestly, Hot Topic has a whole bunch more and sometimes they're on sale. I think most of the times they're on sale at Hot Topic. So just saying, but I'm not sure if Barnes & Noble might have some exclusive ones or anything like that. But yeah, this is this is what they offer. I have not seen a vinyl section in so long. How cute is this? The Charlie Brown Holiday Hits? I want that. This is so cute. And then look at all of these vinyls they have. Um, I think vinyls sound better. I That's just a personal opinion, but you know, you feel free to disagree with me. <laughs> Maybe they don't. That's why. I, oh, look, a whole wall dedicated to the Beatles. And then here, the cr the Criterion Collection. Ew. Okay, so they have these. I'm not sure what the Criterion Collection is. If you know, please let me know because I'm clueless. So yeah, this is really interesting. I guess it's not that popular of an area because the rest of the store is packed and that part wasn't. Okay, I love this section. Harry Potter. Look at all these books. And then they have the illustrated books as well. And a little plush. And oh my gosh. Oh, look at the little dubbies. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. The Marauder's Map mug. Oh my god. You guys look at all of these cute little things. I want it all. I wonder if they'll remake the Harry Potter movies. You know? You never know. Oh. They have wands of particular characters this is so cool i love it and of course you gotta have the obligatory cafe with the bookstore there's a little quote-unquote starbucks and here we have mugs tumblers for your coffee and tea magazines are that way very cozy type vibes young adult section. I really want to read this book. The author's Muslim and it's like one of those medieval type books. I love it. And I want to read this because it has pirates and mermaids and stuff like that. Oh, this is, these two are definitely on my to read list. Really want to read this one. I'm trying to pull it out. Of course it has reviews on the back instead of an actual summary, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll live. All right. So much cool YA books. Hmm. They have Hunger Games, of course. I want to read the new Hunger Games that came out. That's also on my list. And it's this one. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. This is definitely something I'd like to read. wonder if they'll make a movie out of this. They probably will, huh? All right, there we go. Um, this caught my attention right away. Kingdom of the Wicked. I wonder if it's parody. Now, I don't get this. James Patterson presents, but it's written by this chick. So I don't get it. Did James Patterson write it or did that chick write it? I'm so confused. Someone please explain. <laughs> please honestly explain because I don't know what's going on. But judging by this description, it's totally up my alley. So... Yeah, I think this is also going to be on my list, my never-ending list. Wonder what it's about. Let's see. Witches who live secretly among humans. Uh, yes, please sign me up. This is something I'm so into. I hope. <laughs> I want to read it. What else do they have? Stalking Jack the Ripper. And again, is it a James Patterson book or is it by this person? Who wrote it? I'm confused. Please, 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 please explain. <laughs> ah. So that's what that's about. I wonder what... Oh, this is like a whodunit type of book. So maybe not. And then right here we have stories about the villains. 
I saw a book like this recently. It wasn't by this author, so I don't know who wrote it, but it just captivate. It just gets my attention. Wow. Look at all these options. This again is still YA. This is probably like YYA. I don't know. Interesting books. Remember when John Green was so popular and everyone just gravitated towards him and read all of his books, including The Fault in Our Stars, and people were just like gung-ho over him, and then suddenly like the hype died, died down? Whatever happened to John Green? Is he still around making books? I don't know. Ooh, this seems cool. All right. I do want to read this book. This is on my to read list as well. Ah! <laughs> and then this book, anything that just says witches, like I'm, I'm sold. This whole section is my section. All right. So that's that. And time to head out before I do any more damage. But this is cool. All these books are $5. In this book, Annex, your choice, $5. This is... Interesting. Guide to National Parks. Really interesting. Especially if you love like traveling and all that type of stuff. Wow. An uncommon history of common things. These are really interesting type of books. So these are $5 and I think that's nice of Barnes & Noble to have like that. Here they're $8. Yeah. $3 difference. Beauty and the Beast. So I guess that's like the original tale. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Things I personally wouldn't buy, but maybe you're into it. So, yeah, just so you know. Here it is. That looks so pretty, does it not? All right, you guys, so thank you for coming along with me to Barnes & Noble. That was a really quick trip, and I'm sorry for being, like, too quiet, but it was, like, there were a lot of people there, so I couldn't be, like, too loud and too wild. But I hope you guys found something that you thought was interesting, if not to read, then just to, like, look at. But, yeah, that's my day. So I'm gonna go home because it is time to go pray now. And, you know, it's Ramadan, so I gotta, gotta do that too. <laughs> So I'll see you guys next time. And if you liked it, please leave a like. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.